Okay, hello and welcome to War Tales. So, it is a... Oh, we've got to choose our destiny. So, it's basically, this is, from what I can tell from the store page, and it seems to be a party management RPG. Um, so, we we'll choose, I guess, our start here. Your merchant's son and your father was killed by bandits who raided your caravan. You barely escaped with your life and survived with the help of the, your young friends. Without them, you would have been killed or sold off as a slave. They rely on you to take charge now when your father is gone. Can we chin? Ah, so just pick one or the other. Army veteran. As a retired soldier, you have witnessed the worst humanity has to offer. With men fighting for survival... T uh, when men fighting for survival turn into savage beasts. At the end of the last campaign, weary of serving an incompetent commander, you decided to take your leave. You can only hope he never finds you, and does not leave the army on a whim. As one does not leave the army on a whim. A few loyal companions, who have always stood by your side, have come with you. You are determined not to let them down, and have vowed to help them through these difficult times. Additional influence. Is that the only difference? Money or influence? Hmm. We'll start as an army veteran. Seems fair enough. Keep the difficulty on normal. And we're loading in. Slowly, but surely, eventually, the game will begin. <laughs> <sighs> Taking its time. <laughs> there we go. Shiro Games is proud to present the first version of War Tales in its alpha. Uh, generally representative of the final game, but with limited content. You'll be limited to only one of the regions, and a lot of content and narrative elements are still missing, but you can still carry out several fights and manage your troops. And if I am... oh, can we... I can't move with WASD, I can't move with uh, directionals. If I remember rightly as well, Shiro, I have heard of those. They are... I don't want this on the Do Not Disturb. Remember that first. So, Community Hub, Shiro Games, go to the store page. Ah, we can't. But I think I remember them from... I want to say Northgard. Possibly? I'll just bring it up on the store page. Um, War Tales... It's just picking... It's, it's in mine now. Shiro Games. Developer. I'm sure it was Northgard. I'm sure it was no Evil and Darksburg. Northgard thought so as well. Northgard developers, Evil and yeah, they've done a few things. Oh, something's glittering here as well. Before we move on. So day one, twenty-three hours. So I imagine that's eleven o'clock then. Some bandit outlaws have already bumped into us, and we're going to splat them. Okay, Ubert, Deepet, Hammond, Sander, Sander, uh, uh, what? Colonel Sanders. Right. You can place a companion here before the battle starts. Oh. Ah, so it's like a deployment phase. Gotcha. And they've got one in the back with a bow. Um, the 
retreat, run, move. Let's move him over. And cleave. Oh, it's got a little AoE effect there, hasn't it? And bandit will turn. Ah, so this is the. It really needs a tutorial, this. I will say that much. Okay. Let's get stuck in there. And give him a good stabbing. <laughs> We're going to get shot, aren't we? Yep. Oh, it moves as well. Let's move. Probably to here will be fine, I think. No, I need to move a little bit further. Ooh, critical hit. Done a nice bit of damage. Then we've got... Colonel Sanders against Fury, Pound, and that's just basic hit then. No, can't do anything else. Ooh. Oh, he's using poison. Cheap shots. You can use any unit that hasn't take part in the, hasn't taken part in this round yet. Bash him. And D-Pet. Oh, oh, no, we can use any. Okay, cleave. <laughs> Let's have a look. So we move up here. And we can give him a good stab. Again, that should be the end of him. They seem very happy about murdering that man. Ooh, risky. That's probably better, yeah. Okay, he's basically dead. Bye bye. Okay. Repair damaged armor and shields with your raw materials. Do we have raw materials up here then? Is that displayed or inventory? Ah. You think that'd be a resource up here, but we've got five. Yes. And we found uh Do, do we really no why why would you take those Ugh. Got some more resources riverside stables anything nice? Oh, no. Talk, inspect, talk, inspect. Oh, you can literally steal stuff while you're here. 
When I think of how many people don't shoe their horse, it makes me want to pull out the little hair I have. Trade. He will give us horseshoes for uh, 30 gold. Mm, no. Buy a horse from us and I'll throw in the horseshoes for free. So we can inspect a pony. Um, okay. It does eat food. With its sharp eye and soft fur, the perfect pony. Uh, this is the perfect everyday companion. We need 150 gold to buy a pony. Damn it. But I want a pony! <laughs> Did we... We've got a pony on us here, is that just... Randomly... We've obtained it? Strum cap. Okay. I do like this map. It's very nice looking. In market forge apothecary. We want to go to the inn. We want to get some work, don't we? Looking for work. Envoys ensure that every service request is fulfilled. Our offers are regularly updated. Review. Bandit hideout. Uh, a gang. Uh, a bounty hunt for Mafius Lund, another gang, and some deserters. We'll start with the easier one with the gang, I guess. Okay. Down below here. So pass the stables. Nice, calming music. It just nicely relaxes before we inevitably get murdered. So what's this? Saltland belongs to my attic. Can't just let you walk in. Knowledgeability helps you learn new blueprints, patterns, and recipes. Okay. What's this one? Suspicion. Raising suspicion will make you wanted by the guard. You'll have to pay for your crimes. Okay. Come. To rest, have a meal, and go about your various activities. Okay, they don't want to move anymore. We want to camp. I suppose we have been travelling a while. Sign companions add uh, plus one food, uh, plus one happiness. I guess is that morale? Well, happiness, yeah. Uh, we've got a workshop.
so we can get a skill. So specialization level three. For now, um, strength. Oh, do we only get one? Hmm. Well, that's a bit disappointing. Is that it? And we don't really have any new equipment or anything to. Meal. So we need six. Bread. Venison. Bread. Right, venison sandwiches, everyone. Rest. You have gained two action points. The troop is well rested. And we've got a few bits and bobs here that we can grab. Is this it here? We'll have a look, shall we? No, but well, there's some venison. An abandoned camp. Are they... Who are they? They best not be bandits. Lund's farm. Information on how you've gathered of something, something knowledge. Okay. So it's, it's through the trees. So they're in these trees just here. Let's see if we can get on the back end of them. Ah, uh, it looks like we just bumped into them. Get them. Kathingia the Tyrant. Bandit level 2. Right. Let's get our pay. <laughs> Okay, so we'll start our bigger units up front. We'll put our archer just here. I mean, we don't want him to get in close, but we don't want him to be so far back he can't get a good shot in. Right, let's begin. Bella points a, in combat to use certain skills you gain each time you rest. Ah. Ah, so that's what. Oh, interesting. Okay. I thought those were the action points. I'll be honest. So, where are his action points? Or is it just a. Uh, Yeah, is it just uh trigger when this unit's taxing and from behind? It must just be a you have a move for a certain amount and then you can uh attack I guess. <laughs> These bandits love their poison. We move up a bit. We've got a clean shot on this one. So it's more XCOM 2 style where it's 
move and hit. Yeah, Anglet, so we we'll only get him. Ooh, we can heal people as well with this guy. Oh my god. He hits like a damn truck. Right, got him. Okay, we are going to, uh... <laughs> oh! And here we have... Oh god, they hit like absolute trucks! They're dead though, that one. <laughs> Get a clean shot. Oh, thank God for that. You have completed the mission. Go back to the and collect your reward. Okay. There's also someone here at the old lighthouse. And am I right in assuming now we've we've lost someone? Actually, damage inflicted reduced by. Ooh. Willpower reduced by half. Ooh. And yeah, they did die. Ooh, that's harsh. That's very harsh. Old lighthouse. We've got a band. Oh god. We've got four of them. No, cancel, cancel. Go, leave, leave, leave. We cannot take all of them at once. That is absolutely horrendous. This was an easy mission. And that one guy almost one-shot two of my units and then finished the next one off on his next turn. And we've now got two horrible wounds. And we're missing a party member. Jesus Christ. blindsided there, didn't we? Right. Let's just leave that gang alone. God, they get slow and they need to rest. Right, we need food and we need to pay, but we don't have enough money. You haven't paid your companions. Do you want to rest anyway? Yes, well, we, we don't have enough money. We'll get the, our old gear as well. That's, uh, happiness is neutral. Right.
Okay. Collect bounty. What else can we do? Easy. We'll accept easy. Can we accept multiple is the question next. So I've got an average one. Ooh, there's a couple over there. Can I pay my wages somehow? Right, so I don't have to rest, but I can pay wages here. There we go. Let's leave the camp. Let's exit. Apothecary. Craft. Select an alchemist. Nope. A powerful salve that heals a companion's injury. The vial is collected after use. Okay, we have a few of those actually. Tell you what, we'll leave for now. Okay, can I? No, okay. Uh, inspect. You eat, drink the medicine. Somehow, I need to somehow figure out how to get them to drink this. Tinkerer, Alchemist. Or a bunch of unknown ones we don't yet know of. Maybe I can click on him. Companions can make another useful items. Pony. So yeah, I would assume that I can just Nope. Apparently not. Maybe maybe if I click on the injury. Ah, treat, right click. There we go. Finally. Well thank god I persisted. I'd have heard to have gone in to a fight carrying medicine <laughs> but being injured that that's just dumb okay do we hire new people at the inn Fronrick at your service if you pay him handsomely handsomely right 20 influence and 40 gold we do need another hand for this. Vanon. Beer, wine, pancakes. Or a recipe for apple pancakes. Alcohol. It counts as one food. We can buy it for four. Okay. One, two, and there's wine. Same thing. We can buy some beer and wine then. We've got some venison chops on us. We've got a you know, decent bit of food. Decent bit of food. Um, we'll have a look at the market. Just 
for curiosity's sake and we'll see if we can get a few missions done a uh, few more missions done before we call it quits um, god a few people in there so this is meats we've got uh, pelts we've got a beggar and uh, no, we cannot spare food. We're not in a great spot and we've just lost someone. Uh, for a few counts, I can polish our armor. Right, so we've got... We've got hides, we've got meats, we've got... Uh, beggars, we've got veg from the looks of things. Price temporarily reduced. Hmm. Yeah, they're normally free from the looks of things. We will buy a few of them, yeah. We'll just buy all of them. It didn't cost much. Right. And we will go on that, I think. Um, what equipment? What equipment? Do we have uh, on a new arrival? Here is Fonric. He's got an old club. Strength plus one, skill pound. Rags, armor plus so it's poor equipment that, he, that we've got. We can't put all bet on him. Right, so we've got basically a shield and club user. We can depart on that. The map wants us to go south and west. These are the average ones, however. So be wary. <laughs> this may be the end of the video, but not for the reasons we're hoping here. I think I'm very much likely to die here. Yes, we want to go through the forest. Mm hmm. Now remember that gang's lurking around through here. So be wary. Well, they thought they saw something. Oh, that's... They're the ones I'm looking for. Yes. Fight them. Do we get an ambush bonus because we snuck up on them? <laughs> we do not. Damn. Right. Shields up front. Um, for a moment then I thought it glitched out and we hadn't got us fourth guy <laughs> right the, oh he looks he looks nasty him Damage for next attack is increased. Yes, let's use that. Okay, end our move. Got a guy 
guy moving in. This is when we get quite interesting with this. We can now get two of them in one. Though we didn't do much, unfortunately. <laughs> Decent angle on him. And we've nearly killed our own unit. Lovely. Oh god, the big Warhammer guy. Uh, right. Get him. Ooh. That probably hit like... Yeah, that, that'll that hurt like hell. Kill him. Disengage from that. And end the turn there. Okay. It'll be a while before he's got another turn. But we're going to have to kill him in that time. Force the target to engage and inflicts weakening up to them for one round. No, we can't. Okay, so it has to be the guy we're directly facing. Right. this guy here then. 100% we've got a good angle on him. Nearly through him. I think these two could potentially die if they don't get out of there this turn right now. Right. Got a good start. <coughs> Ooh. Let's get a really solid hit in there and hope. No, it's, this is going to hit like a goddamn truck, this. And I'm not looking forward to it. Range of the next attack is double and then precision is enhanced and precision is enhanced. Okay. Might be something to use in Oh good god, he's dying, he's dying, that's coming in. Did we what a terrible hit that we got there, right? We're gonna have to disengage. And get around him. If we stay there, we likely die. Yeah, we've we've died with one unit. God, that club does so little. Both in that. Ooh. Oof. 
That's going to hurt. Critical hit. We've got him killed. Right. A new round is starting. Let's get over here. And this is the time, fella, so this is the uh, bounty target. And that should be him dead. <laughs> and we've lost one. Damaged armor, injured, damaged armor, injured. Deserter's breastplate. So if we loot all, right, so it does take everything apart from the corpse, good. <laughs> Continue. Hun's farm, casket mine is over here. Right, before we go on, Um, the units move. This unit moves by half of their capacity due to a ruptured ligament. This unit uh, has half damage. Okay, he has to get healed. Old longsword. Long but damaged blade. So the guy we just hired is dead. Well, at least we didn't have to pay his wages. Oh, in fact, was it him? Because I'm just thinking. Yeah, this. I thought it was this guy because he has the old club. But yeah. Hmm. Cannot equip heavy armor. Why not? Why can't you equip heavy armor? Who can equip heavy armor? Can you equip heavy armor? He can't equip heavy armor. Can you equip heavy armor? He cannot equip heavy armor. Damn. <laughs> oh, let, let's have a look. So, who's got damaged armor? Casket lid. Take that off. Armor zero of one, armor zero of one. So they're both damaged is what it's telling me. Then why is it saying that this one's now got armor? Oh, the daft thing. I, I do not know. Do not know. Uh, cloth tunic, armor zero of eight. Are they both damaged? Yes, they are. Rags. So I can't... Right, so he's just, I guess, designated as having a broken armour and you can't just put new armour on because that becomes broken, I guess. It's probably a bug from early access, from it being a, not early access, uh, from it being a demo I suppose, but still annoying, very annoying. <laughs> right, to the mine, please don't all die. Three raiders and a henchman, though they are level one, so that it's got that going for it there, level one only. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, we don't want to get these raiders are going to do that targeting thing. So we want to be careful about how far we move up here. Right. Not letting them get too close yet. Okay, he's going for an attack. Now we can hit him. Keep kiting them a bit, and we might just make it out of this. <coughs> We're not bunching up. But... We are managing to just keep them moving about and not engaging us. Yeah, he would do that, wouldn't he? Uh, we can finish him off. And end that turn. But you want to... Maybe move here-ish. Could I get both in that? Mm, not quite. I think it's going to be dodgy trying to get that. Just, just. Ooh. Good hit, though. Ah, he's engaged us. So we now have to kill this unit, or he's... I'm not sure I like that mechanic, it's it, they basically so... They're very easy to avoid until you get stuck by another enemy. And then they just... These basically just execute you. Hmm. A solid hit. Let's finish him off. Got him. Let's heal him up a bit. Wow, two whole health. Amazing. <laughs> and just keep trading blows there. Okay. Can't quite get close enough. Which is not good news, because we might be about to die here because of that. Unless we finish him. We not move now. It doesn't. We don't get a turn with him. Ooh, 
that's gonna hurt. It's really gonna hurt us that. Yeah. At least he's not dead. But we're not exactly in a uh, good spot here either. Right. Should kill. We're not dead. We're not dead. <laughs> we need to get the hell back to town, but we are not dead, thankfully. You have just completed the Mission 3 Casket, casket Mine. Uh, go back and talk to Fanboy to collect your reward. Pick up. Select a miner. Right, let's make one of them a miner then. The swordsmith, the brute. He sounds like he'd be a miner. Oh, it gives constitution, yes. Which I think he might need some of. Fatigued. Uh, constitution. It just. just not even it just says constitution. Just generic constitution. Swordmaster for deals two times more damage to the target can be used every two attacks. And he is allowed to use medium armor. Heavy armor and gets Deals 4 to 5 damage to the target and gains repost. The next time this unit is attacked by their engaged opponent, they parry with an attack of opportunity. Ooh. And heavy armor encouragement. The unit and allies in the area gain protection for two rounds. He's not a protector. Um, knight sounds good to me. You would have thought that this repost attack would be the swordmaster, but no, apparently the knight. Each time the units engage, they gain repost. Each time the unit disengages, they gain deflection. Some of the units engage, they have brutality. Ooh. Let's try this. We've got another level up. Constitution is enormous. Uh, used to boost troops while doing combat and gives crit hit chance. How much we move around? Um, oh, we can get a damage upgrade though. They look big and angry now. <laughs> they look very big and angry. Ooh. He actually looks like a soldier now. Like, holy hell. All allied animals next to the target attack them with an attack of opportunity. I can ally with animals? Deal six damage to the first three enemies who go through the area. It's like an Overwatch, I guess. That um, recoil shot deal four to seven damage to the target, knocks them back by two meters, and applies slow down. That would be great on those um, uh, on those yeah the units the keep doing those targeted attacks we could knock them back and slow them down that would be great for dealing with those I'd love Beastmaster it sounds really fun but 
I don't know how to uh, befriend animals yet. <laughs> so I have no idea. Right. We need to treat Fonvik here. At some point, if possible. We're owed 430 gold as well. Novice Miner. Okay, there's a mini game. I don't know why we need a mini game for this, but. Search any of the barrels. Is there any? Ooh, there's more iron ore. And there's nothing else from the looks of things. Right. Oh, we have to click on the actual icon. There we go. Okay. Interesting. Right. Let's head back. What's the fastest way? We might be able to go up around here. Maybe that leads over there. Um, also, there's a destroyed cart here. We might be able to... Must be one of the convoy, convoys that the bandits raided. Uh, two dead wolves. Up. And they really want to camp now. Your inventory is full. Your inventory is full. Oh, don't worry, we're going to eat our way out. Pungent aroma of the wolf meat makes your mouth water. Uh, increase the troops' happiness by one. So we've got the, uh, we've got plus two happiness at the moment. Right. So we need. We'll have some venison sandwiches, and a few rounds of beer. Sounds good to me. Oh, there's so much shiny. Just there through the trees. Can you see it? It's wood. We got wood. <laughs> oh. Firstly, let's get our rewards. I've got that one that we've accepted. Oh, two easy ones next to each other. Absolutely fantastic. We can recruit for 40 gold and some influence. An aft. Okay, we will do that. And we've got Dorona here, who we will also recruit purely and simply because 
in all fairness, we really need uh, we we really need some um, some more bodies on this. <laughs> Okay, um, I wonder if we get different prices at different stores. So remember that the armor here is worth 10, 11, and 12 here. So let's see what we can get if we were to go to the forge. Same. I actually prefer that. Um, what can we forge as well? Select a blacksmith. We will make. Who will we make a blacksmith? We need to remember we need some uh, medicine as well. Um, a knight could be a blacksmith. You can learn blueprints and forge items in a village forge. Got a level up on this one. A warrior, okay. Oh, I've got an actual weapon as opposed to a club. And that's always useful. Um, if they're going to be on the front line, though, they're going to need some constitution. Ah, you can only have four on this. So, Dorona. Also a warrior. So, what, level 2, level 1. And they were the more expensive unit. What? Right. Hammond can be our alchemist then. And we will make a naft here. A tinkerer, I guess. Sure. And we'll leave. You can use my anvil for a few crowns. I can also repair your armor. Oh, and I'm looking to hire a skilled blacksmith, if you happen to know one. We can repair for four crowns. Yes, your armor has been repaired. Hooray! Um, we'll buy five more so we can repair while we're in the field. In fact, mm, we'll, we'll get a bit more. We'll spend 50 on raw materials. Um, We'll sell our old uh, rubbish. We'll keep the weapons. Yeah, we'll keep the weapons. Hmm, I might get rid of the club. Yeah, it's not very good. The shiv's not bad. I'm surprised that they're not selling armor and weapons there. Right, three hairs market. So we need to buy some more food, preferably. Oh, I'm expecting not talking. Right. Venison, chicken, pork, and salt. Hmm. 
So it's six for two food here. Or we can go three for one food, three for Yeah, so it's about three for one food. Right. We'll mix up the venison with some pork. And I think that will probably do us. We're good for supplies there. Right, we have been running for a bit over an hour. So, I might call it here. I think I will. I might come back to this actually in the next few days. I might even. I'll consider possibly another video, but I might just play this myself in my spare time, seeing it's just a demo. But, very impressed. Very much impressed. Um, I think the combat could be better. Maybe it's because, and I'll just pause it while this is all happening. Um, so far, it seems, so the combat, maybe it gets better as you get into it, and you get more abilities. It wouldn't surprise me if that were the case. I remember when I first played Divinity, uh, Divinity Original Sin and Original Sin 2. Initially the combat is really dull and boring because you've got like two abilities to choose from, but as you get into it, it gets quite interesting. Uh, maybe the same thing will happen here. Uh, I don't know. It seems very brutal and unforgiving, but then again your units, whilst disposable, are very easily replaced as well. However, as they level up, they seem to get quite significantly better to the point where they're significantly less likely to die, so I'm getting kind of a Mordheim feel from it. If you've ever played Mordheim, maybe you might be aware of what I'm getting at, that it's a similar game, like a third person uh, action RPG, like a party one, uh, where you could your units would literally gain injuries and oh I've just remembered as well we haven't uh, um, healed our guy at the apothecary but you, you guys would get like permanent injuries that you would uh, they'd get like basically debuffs from old wounds and scars and it, you could physically see them on the characters and things it were quite interesting um, oh we can craft things here medicine vial we need snow iris ah, so you can craft these so we need some snow iris if I look out for that so we literally we've, we've got to stop him from literally dying out on us here haven't we too bad it doesn't just heal them all up in one that might even be a better idea to be fair oh so just now that we've got a save slot it just saves over okay interesting right so as I was saying though it, it does kind of remind me of that this sort of system where it's permanent injuries and uh, permadeath on the characters and things uh, while man sort of while managing your resources I like the idea of all of that and I'll be honest I really like the the sort of out of combat sort of resource management party management elements I really like those they seem to be pretty well done the fact that it's got professions as well and you can craft your own stuff and uh, you kind of just free to, rain, uh, to roam around and take up uh, these side quests and things and I, I will say it's yeah I think it's uh, it's an interesting way uh, going about with get, uh, 
going about it, it does, I, I do like that. The Again, the only drawback at the moment, but I'd have to play the full game and get quite into it to really be able to tell. The combat seems a bit oversimplified to the point where there's not a whole lot you can do and sometimes you just have to accept that a guy's going to die. But again, maybe as you get more abilities, like we just got that one on the archer, might solve that problem. Right? So maybe as we get further into it here, we can move enemies about more with uh, knockback attacks, possibly even, I mean, God, maybe you can knock them backwards so they swing at their own guys. Who knows? It could be very interesting, but I'd have to see more of it and get more in depth with it. But, might be something, I think this is definitely something to keep my eye on keep looking at the development over time, see if it gets to uh, see how the combat is later on, see if it's, uh, it might be worth a purchase this. Anyway, as always, it's on the Steam Next Game Festival, if you're looking to try the demo it'll still be there for a few more days. Thank you very much for watching, and I'm genuinely considering doing some, maybe even doing like a second showing of some of these games. Maybe this and uh, Metal Mind, some of the others possibly. Just giving them a bit more, a bit more of a look because I'm re I, well. I'll be honest, I really want to play some more. <laughs> I could play it. I could probably play this a lot longer. But then again, I'm saying all this, and I've got the Humankind beta waiting on me uh, list as well. <laughs> after all of this, anyway, I'll see what I decide. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.